Hey guys, good evening. How are you guys doing today? Welcome to the MCS Weekly Show. Welcome Ryan, Joseph Rojas, in. Good to see you guys. It's got, I kind of start a little bit late today. Got the ship with Jack Tide came in. Um, didn't have a chance to test it, but I put a bunch of them together. Jin was here, Jin Pack was here, was shooting it. Um, he got a couple mags through. So that means that I do have the shape projectile in. I got thousands of them. I'm not gonna do. I'm gonna do some testing after the show, and then uh, I'll let you guys know tomorrow. See how it goes. So um, hopefully, if you guys are gonna see me at the 9/11 um, show of game, the M Fog game. I think the M Fog 64, something like that. ODSC game, one of those down south. I forget what's going. I'm, I'm trying to head down there. This coming weekend, not this weekend, but next weekend, I'm trying to head down there. Um, I got some event down in Arizona, so I'm gonna stop by uh, for a few hours um, at that event. So you guys are going down there, uh, let me know. I'll meet you guys down there for a few hours, and I head back on Sunday afternoon, about noon. I'm probably gonna start to head down back at home. So if you guys are going to that game, I'll be down there um, for a few hours only, maybe get. Uh, out about eight o'clock in the morning, probably head home about noon. So I'll make it back home by um, by nightfall, and then uh, you know go to the office by tomorrow. Rondell, good to see you. Eric, Ryan, um, Johnny, good to see all of you guys. So this is the show that we're talk about paintball, magfed, some other stuff, if you will. Any question, comment, concern, just throw them out. Good to see you, Patrick. Your patch, your package got out a few hours ago. Um, I also got uh, <laughs> Jay Lungo's uh, gun out too, so hopefully that reaches to you by Friday, more likely Friday. Um, you guys, uh, really good package there. Augusta, it's good to see you. Timothy, Dave, um, Jamie, good to see you guys. So um, this week, I'm going to show you guys a new setup that I put together just a few um, hours ago. This is the G36, Tack and Bolt G36. And it's kind of different from what we have in the past. So, kind of SD5 handguard right here, mock um, charging handle. You can tap that down a little bit. It's kind of cool to have. This is doing anything, of course, but it's nice to have, right? And then you get your standard um, Thunderbolt uh, <laughs> trigger frame in here. And then you have a five position retractable butt stock. Of course, air through. So, nice and compact. You can kind of put in nice and tight. Give you that rock solid CQB setup and if you want to do a roof full rifle setup it has five positions so you can kind of pull it out and then do that this lock in there now you're gonna go through your different type of a scenario depends on what you're looking to do hey Timothy Caesar good to see you guys Carlos John Tom good to see you guys and um I'm gonna play a quick video for you to see how I shot this gun earlier right before we get to the show so i'm gonna it's a minute or two video i always like to do a video before we get under the show so that way you can see what it's like and you know what you get yourself into if you decide to uh get yourself in, in the auction motion right here so uh hopefully you guys can enjoy this quick video um I, like i said i did it right before getting the show so Tacoma Bolt G36 featuring some new accessories so you get this new MP5 handguard right here with a mock silencer mock charging nut too you cannot have a little tap down moving forward doesn't do anything but it's just cool to have of course this new G36 carry handle it's kind of two of the basic carry handle we have we kind of put back to back give it a G36 look and of course the ultimate trigger system right here that's on the Thunderbolt safety and then fire and the, the, the removable magazine well there so built ready to rock right here so of course i forgot to mention uh retractable butt stock we have five, five position you can go in the smallest give you that really tight close quarter or you can extend it out for a full rifle system okay let's try do some shooting see how it goes rack back here we go all right gonna try another mag a clear magazine to see so you can see the rounds that you have in there so not great to have when you want to see how many rounds you have or what kind of projectile you have inside let's go all right guys that's how this g36 shoots you have 
All right, hope you guys like that uh, quick video there. It's not much, like I said, a minute or two video, kind of show you how it works um, and how it's function there. It's, uh, like I said, it's a basic setup. You can pretty much use it on any fields and uh, a good starter gun. You guys afford uh, your, the auction bidding start at 100 bucks, so you can, you can start if you like. All right, good to see you. Um, Junior, good to see you, Carlos. Oh man, Robert. Todd, Anthony, well, Brian, Lee, Rich, good to see you guys. Uh, well, good to see you guys. Um, so anyway, if you guys going out to the event this coming weekend, the ODSC 9-11 event, I'll be down there. And I could bring some new stuff, uh, some ship projectile for you to check out. Maybe you can uh, able to do some demo tests on there too, if I'm able to make uh, enough of them. And then uh, hopefully I can show you how it looks like and get into production by the end of the uh, the month here right now we're looking at about another month or two we can start cranking them out and um, start to have release date on those projectiles we all been waiting for, for a long time so uh, just a skip away and we have to get them out and then start to shoot them and um, <laughs> and ship them out and do demo tests on it I know a lot of ambassadors are waiting for them too I can't wait for it as well it's uh, gonna be like one of those uh, project, uh, one of those things that you know project that we wait to do for so long. It we kind of over in a way where um, you know the the you know the, the the drive you go you go to that hill right you go all the way up and the anticipation's all there. By the time you get there, it's like ah, oh, it, it's so draining that it's, you forget how it feel like uh, beginning the trip. That's how I feel right now. So I'm kind of like a little bit jaded in anticipation of it so um, hopefully you guys get a chance to kind of test them out and see how it works um, and compare that with paintball and with uh, first strike and the other projectile and see how it goes Jared good to see you guys Carlton Key good to see you buddy Alfred um, what price are we looking at per case so we do only different it's gonna be a hundred um, it's it's kind of like a, um, a small thin box a hundred of them so 10 by 10 easier to, to ship them um, you can do uh, multiple pack of it so we're looking at about a quarter 20 cents to a quarter per uh, per round um, so you're looking at about 25 bucks for 100 shots that's what we're looking at right now uh, I'm gonna get exact cost when we get closer to the uh, we're gonna have to calculate everything on that to see the cost to make them and that way I can give you more details on what it's about so I definitely um, in the coming weeks you guys can get a uh, more detailed update on that like I said I've been just get the rounds in and test them and test them making sure they are good um, like I said Jin earlier was here who was putting together himself and he was to shoot like a couple max off um, he was shooting uh, 50 yards target able to take a torso side target pretty much every shot so in that sense it's good uh, I'm gonna do more testing after, like I said, after the show. Gonna do more testing to give you me more like insight in what's going on, making sure the round, the, the rounds, flights, kind of true and steady and consistent. It can, it can be off, but I don't know how much. That's why it's rather that I go through the process and find out the nuance in projectile, see if what's causing it to fly well, what's not. Um, if you shoot first strike. Or paintball you can you, you shoot 10 shots right one of one of those 10 will fly away or straight off low but maybe the tail is broken or the paintball kind of off the weight a little bit or the sim of the rounds it's not perfect so that you get a little you know, we call them flyers if you will but um, we are looking at um, testing more of it and after this week, I'm gonna start getting them out to ambassadors so they can start shooting them and they can see how well it flies based, based on their equipment um, to see how well it feeds, to see. I'm pretty much the, the testing that we could not have done here with the limited equipment we have and the variation that we have, we don't have all the different variations like the paintball, I mean, sorry, excuse me, the barrels difference, the air tank they use, um, temperature, you know, elevation, if you will, all these little things that can definitely cause uh, the, the rounds not to fly well. So that's what we're looking at. And in the coming weeks, you guys, 
yes, definitely gonna be able to see more posting on them, on, on, on the report on the projectile, see um, what it does. Like so after this uh, initial testing, then then we go into production and then start crying them out. But right now, I get thousands of my money. I'll, I'll show you a picture later on after, you know, it just came in a few hours ago, so I didn't really have a chance to really do an in-depth look at them, but uh, we have to put a few together and test. So uh, after the show, I'm gonna take some photos so you guys can see if you can post them up and you can check them out and see the, uh, the, the parts and the amount of, you know, the anticipation that we've been waiting for to get these projectiles out. So, um, should we include 10 in every gun be uh, purchased with the <laughs> That's a really good idea, Damon. Um, that's a good, no, I, I like that idea. So, uh, put 10 in like a little tube, okay? I, I can work with that. Put a little tube in and let people have to uh, whack it and see how it goes. Literally 2000 when they come out. All right, Ian. Uh, where we're gonna, if, when you know the date is coming out, it's when we, uh, we're gonna put a little countdown timer onto the site. You can see you know, you know, the time coming down, um, counting down minute by seconds, by hour, by days, and then you can see exactly when it will land, and you can um, see uh, when you can start ordering. Okay, Felix, one thirty. Okay, so um, OD, it's it's um, so this is right here. If you guys gonna option this gun, this is the G thirty six version. Of course, it's, you can shoot um, shape projectile and paintball. Both are good with this rifle. Definitely, you if you're gonna get some like this, it's um, I think it's a perfect gun for kids or for the ladies because it's small, it's compact, it's real light. Um, probably weighed about maybe four or five pounds so it's uh it's a good starter okay junior at 130 um felix always at 130 junior so you have a step up a little bit there um to uh, to be in the leading oh uh pierre how are you doing are you going to get rubber balls match shape The one we have right now is all, uh, all Damon. It's almost like the rubber balls or the red round. It's pretty close, but hopefully, what I'm planning to do is um, increase that a little bit. But I don't think those rounds gonna be any good anymore because you know when when the shape rounds, the MSR round are at about a quarter each or twenty cents a quarter each. I don't think people will want to uh, invest into the the rubber balls anymore. I think they're gonna go more go straight to. The MSR round so um, hopefully there's more demand for them and then I hope to kind of push them out but as, as for a time being um, like I said it's um, the target price right now 20 cents to quarter I think it, it's a good solid price point that we can start with and I'm very sure as we able to crank production we improve our process and learn from what we've done and and it kind of you know everything that's there improvement right now we have a good way of doing it. I'm very sure there's a better way to do it so as we go through the production learn how to do it better faster and increase our scale on production I'm very sure uh, at one point we have to bring down the price and of course as we produce more of it we uh, more people will shoot them and we have to buy more material at a better discount because you know, economy of scale of course right you buy more you get better discount of course we have to bring that price point down and grow the sport that's our that's our goal to do that is able to get these projectiles out to fields to store to players and then grow the sport John Tay right now it's at 150 uh, junior you're behind again buddy <laughs> oh man John Tay right now it's um it's 150 for this okay so you guys are looking to this right here it's um it's it's one fifth right now for this G36. I'm gonna play a video in the next uh, couple minutes right here so you guys can check them out. All those that came in late, they didn't really see the demo video on it. I think it's, it's a good video to watch so you can see what's it about. Um, yeah. And so you know what you're bidding for, right? <laughs> James, right, man. <laughs> Push him up. So, uh, talk about ship rounds. I, it's like I said, been a long anticipating project, seven years in the making. Uh, I'm hoping to really push this out in the next couple of months and finish this one project, get out of the way, so we can focus more on back onto the Hydra and the pistol that we've been we've been pushing hard on that as well. But uh, 
I honestly have not even defined much time lately to work on the pistol and the Hydra. I've been focused so much on getting the rounds and getting Tornado. Um, the con tornado is the conversion kit for the X-Men Classics. Try and get that one out too. So in the coming weeks, uh, there's a lot of good stuff coming out. So I'm not, let me play a video for you guys really quick on the uh, on this G36 so that way the people who just came in get to see them uh, how it looks like. Oh, Jonathan DeLeon, I got your message. I have not read it yet, but I got your message. Been uh, a little bit crazy over here trying to get stuff done. Todd, oh, uh, Todd Mylan, top dog right now, 170. Right, gonna play video for you guys real quick. One second here. Tacoma Bolt G36 featuring some new accessories. So you get this new MP5 handguard right here with a mock silencer, mock charging nut too. You cannot have a little tap down moving forward. Doesn't do anything, but it's just cool to have. Of course, this new G36 carry handle. It's kind of two of the basic carry handle we have. We kind of put back to back, give it a G36 look. And of course, the ultimate trigger system right here that's on the Thunderbolt safety and then fire and the, the, the removal magazine well there. So built, ready to rock right here. So of course, I forgot to mention, uh, retractable buttstock right here, five, five position. You can go in the smallest, give you that really tight close quarter, or you can extend it out for a full rifle system. Okay, let's try to do some shooting, see how it goes. Rack back, here we go. All right, gonna try another mag. A clear magazine to see, so you can see the rounds that you have in there. So not great to have when you want to see how many rounds you have or what kind of projectile you have inside. Let's go. All right, guys, that's how this G36 shoots. You have a 36 shoot. All right, see a quick video there. So hopefully you like that video. And, um, <laughs> and you can see that um, it's a pretty nifty looking gun. Really good shooting. Like I said, you can. Um, this is a really robust trigger system. You can cycle really fast. Um, you know, originally I should have put the respond triggers um, features in this trigger assembly, but I didn't have a chance to do that. I wish that I uh, um, had a little more foresight to put it in, but that's kind of like at the thought thing. Um, when we did this, because this is on a bolt and a bolt. Um, kind of like the BT, it doesn't use the respawn trigger, but that's really the wrong kind of uh, setting um, that we, we didn't really think about it, but in actuality, you can easily run the, the back pressure air and run the, the, um, the respawn trigger on the bolt because they built pretty much on a similar design. Um, like I said, I didn't have the foresight to put it in. In the future, you guys can mod it, you can mod it in, but probably in the future, I can go back and trying to put that feature back in there. So hopefully um, I want to have uh, some free time in the future and I have to put that in there, but that's it. Neil, uh, box mag, waiting for that. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on that as well. Hopefully I can have that out before the year end. It's, uh, it's a project that I know a lot of people waiting for. Uh, you know, years ago, we have that other box magazine the not, with the Nautilus Drive where you know, we stopped production on that about five, six, seven years ago. Um, when we, you know, what was available, a lot of people were saying the, the, the it doesn't work well, it was a blender. And, you know, years we found out that people just throw paintball in there, just any size of paintball in there, any quality, any premium, they just kind of toss the ball in there. And they don't know the, the quality of the ball and they don't know the, the size of the ball, the, the caliber of the, the round. So they just kind of pull the ball in and the neck it has limited you know diameter of course paintball kind of feed through the diameter and it's stuck in there and become a blender and that's why we kind of stop uh, making them of course now everybody wants it because it's uh they really want to play paintball hopper ball and mag fed and kind of interchangeable depends on what game they play just plug a, ho a box mag in they can play against a hopperator and then plug a standard magazine in and can play with just any regular uh, MagFed player. So it would be great if we have that solution. But uh, I'm hoping to bring it back um, in the next couple months. And just so that way players, of any, pretty much, we're going to try and do 
the, the, the one question we get asked the most does it work with like a TMC, does it work with a MILSIG, does it work with the answer is yes, we try and do a hot swap tower. So you have the box mag, which is the base, and then you have different towers that you can purchase separately or you can get a package and you just pull the tower off, plug another one in and just make it adaptable to the different system they have. So you may have one box um, the driving gear system and you can have different towers and you can use it in all different mag markers you have. So we're looking to build, it's a, it's a bigger box magazine. Um, it's, it's not small and compact, so don't don't think you get a little small thing. You get this, this pretty bo big box. It's gonna hold around 150, 200 rounds. We have not you know, kind of narrowed down to how many rounds can hold yet, but we're looking about um, roughly 150 to 200. So that's our plan. Um, we'll give you more details later on as we get closer to the release date. Uh, any any plan from Mechanic Full Auto? Damien, um, currently the Mechanic Full Auto is not on the uh, the list yet. We are currently working on the close bolt version for the PTR, and we're doing the um, the, the new upper that on it. So hopefully, in the next couple months, we'll just show that. Uh, <laughs> oh, Felix, yeah, this uh, this is a good, uh, definitely a good model here. All right, I would love a small box mag as well for 6,200 rounds. A 6200 rounds, I think it's a little bit too small um, for MacFed. It's actually ideal, but the they mean for the the box mag. I think it's more for people who are looking for doing uh, to play against with hoppers. And those hopperators are they, they have about 200 rounds. So you want to get something that's similar to that capacity, 100, 150, 200. That's somewhere around there. And you're gonna carry a box mag. Max and anyway, Max well able to have enough capacity to shoot against um, the, the standard players that's out there. Reload on the field. I don't know if I'm gonna make a uh, setup where you can um, uh, reload on the field, but I'm thinking about it. Maybe you just have one load and carry multiple box mag. But uh, I'm I'm deciding whether to put in a feature in there, able to put in a lid where you can quickly reload your box mag while you're on the field. Um, that's something I have to think about before I execute the final features in there. I got my Vortex decked out response trigger. Yeah, uh, Gus said the, the, the Vortex is a little bit, um, it, it's made for, with the response trigger in mind, but you guys gonna put response trigger on the Vortex. There is a slight mod you have to do. The brass part, the L piece that connect the blowback to the pipe of the piston you have to mod that area a little bit to make sure it fits inside other than that it's just plug and play uh 350k <laughs> oh man hey you got a bit for it buddy um precision macfed usa that's right i think it's just macfed usa um i don't think it's precision macfed you have to check your code brian um Felix forgot today when I order new. <laughs> All right, guys. So any question on that, um, you, can, you can bring it up. Let me know, and I will able to answer any question. I'm gonna show you guys really quick. Um, when I first started the show without red, I was doing um, kind of like a, a 3D modeling, so you guys how the, the the rifle and some of the design we're looking at. So I'm gonna show you guys really quick. Let me pull this video up here. I'm uh, gonna change the screen. Uh, what happened is sometimes ago I was doing showing you guys the uh, the 3D modeling of the tip X. So we kind of final finalize it for you here. So I'm gonna show you uh, in a few minutes here. Michael, uh, can you show us a picture of Tornado Kid? Not yet, Michael. Um, I think in about two weeks, Michael, I will able to show you guys the tornado. Um, the first video, the first R and D video on the tornado, probably in about two weeks. After I confirm that it's ready, um, have a release date, rough uh, release date on, I'll show you guys the, the kit. But uh, I can go add this up four or five video on the R&D process each kind of week or two. I can release one video so you guys kind of see the series of what it takes to um, build that tornado. And then a final week, I'll show you guys the whole gun, the new features that it has, and how it works, and then the whole shebang. So you're gonna love it. There's a new cool new features that it took us a while to. Um, <laughs> to come up and to be able to get a, uh, bring that concept into reality and actually make it functional. 
in about a couple weeks you get to see that so uh, you probably have to wait for that uh, is the stock the this butt stock not really the, the problem with this butt stock mic is that it dropped down see the um, the remote adapter it's right behind your hand and so on this bolt the thunderbolt trigger frame it drops down about half an inch I give you the clearance that you need otherwise what happened on the blizzard it's right behind there and you, you cannot grip on there so it's kind of gets in the way so um, your best bet is uh, get, get a bolt and or get the system itself and you're able to kind of put that in there and able to grip on there like I said it's a really light setup like I said about four four or five pounds you guys have like a kid or um, a lady in your life and you look to get them into MacFed, this is definitely uh, a unit to get into. Real light magazine wise. Um, this mod, we did a, a slight mod, uh, Maxwell Taylor actually do a slight mod on it for you. So he kind of signed off the side here to allow you to kind of put in just like that, take it out. So a lot of people have been saying our magazine kind of hard to insert. Um, you, can, you can speed up the, the wearing process by signing it off or um, go play. Just go in real, see, it go in just real, right, nicely push it in off it goes of course um shaper child tile and paintball all work so <laughs> you guys can uh, definitely use that uh, nice and quick all right so i'm gonna show you guys a quick um 3d modeling of the tip box a lot of guys are asking about it uh a project that we started a few months ago beginning of the year um when uh, reds left and i was showing you guys the project we finally came down to what we wanted to do and how it works and how it functions. So I'm going to switch, switch the camera really quick and I'll show you guys. Alright, so as you can see right here that the, um, this is the body. So there were like, we did a couple different body version, but I think we have narrowed down to this one right here. Um, it's small, compact. You can say kind of like a Sarge kit if you can, can, you will, or like other ones. But this one has a cool little features in the back right here. Of course, it's a folding buttstock and has a rail right here. So we're able to adapt different buttstock to it. Um, so in about a few uh, months, you guys can actually get to see this thing and um, you can pre order and stuff. But we narrow it down to make it small, compact because I believe that it's a bigger rifle on the tip X. I don't, it's not that desirable. If you want a full rifle, might as well get a full rifle. So for something like this, um, for players that actually get into, that's a sport, making something light and small for them. And they're able to use that for both the secondary or as a primary, it depends on the players. Of course, something like this, you can still use a holster. Um, like a lake holster, nylon lake holster, something like that, and you're able to kind of play with that a little bit there. So hopefully you're able to. Um, if you like the setup, let me know. Um, it's uh, it took us some time to narrow down. We did we did actually about 20 different modeling of this, and I think we have narrowed down to this one model. It has the right cut, the right geometry design, um, quite ergonomic in a way. So. We put my set in this one. So yeah, if you guys like it, let me know. All right, guys. Um, hope you guys like that. Um, and able to kind of uh, apply that to your uh, setup. Uh, I know there are a lot of tip decks out there, and a lot of people looking to do a little bit more than just a standard pistol. Something small, compact. Uh, especially tip X has that longer. Um, uh, a long magazine, a 12 round or true feed, so you can use that as well. So uh, that's something that we, we're looking forward to have. Uh, hopefully, in the next couple months, you can start seeing them out uh, and you can get to order it. Uh, Rondell Khan, is that 350 your bid? Uh, I don't know. Is it, Rondell? Can you confirm that, please? Yeah, you can, yeah, uh, that's uh, Rondell. Yeah, okay. So Rondell confirmed that so that way um, people kind of know you're taking it. 
Love the Tipex. The that is Damon. That is the body for the Tipex um, kit. So you guys know that we're doing uh, some time ago. We were showing you guys the lock bolt for the tip, for the Tipex. I tested the lock bolt. They did function really well. Took me a while to kind of get it right. Um, it's in production right now. I owe. Um, a, actually, I'm gonna start getting them out for some people to do uh, to kind of play around with it. So I have to make them though. Um, they're, they're 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 together, but I still gotta finish it up. Um, I lately don't have much time to kind of finish it up. Next couple months though, um, I'll start to. I'm sorry. Next week or two. When I'm uh, able to find some time, I'll put a few together and then I'll send them out for some of you guys to test them uh, on the, uh, the, lo the lock bolt of the tip back so um, you can enjoy that. And then a uh, couple weeks follow down that, I think we can start to get the, the, the tip back body. Will you, uh, will you sell complete or you can do, you can buy the complete gun, you can buy the, the complete setup, the, the, the tip X with the kit or you can buy the kit by itself. Or you can buy, you, or you can buy the whole. I mean, there's three options, right? You can buy the pistol by itself, you, and then you can buy the kit, put together yourself, or you can buy the pistol, the tipex, and the kit already installed. Or if you already have a tipex, you can buy the the, the, the parts yourself and put it together yourself. So a couple different options there that you can um, take to do it. Oh man, uh, Rondell haven't confirmed yet. So I guess anybody knows if he confirmed on a 350 bit, just to make sure he's good. Um, otherwise, it's kind of hard for us to determine if he's gonna take it or not. Um, if not, we can you know put on our board next week and uh, go at it again if we have to, right? <laughs> so yeah, um, it's uh, the the kids. You know that there the tipex. There are a lot of people have tipex out there, and a lot of people have been asking us to make something for the tipex for a long time, and we never really got around to it. But recently, uh, we decided to do it because I think it's time for us to kind of get into different accessory options for a lot of people. We want to grow the sport, so we want to make accessories and kits and product that help people solve the solution that they need. They want something small, compact, light. Um, this kit will definitely do that for them and of course you know Tipman make good product too and they have excellent support behind there so why not make a kit that does that and we make a bunch of kits for Tipman um, so you have a 98 we have the blizzard kit to turn into a magfed you have a5 we have that and <laughs> and now we're almost I mean the phenoms on the way out so that's why we have to bring back the x7 classics um, I know well, we, I'll be talking about it a lot, but it, it's on the way in. Um, box mech capacity. <laughs> okay, I gotcha. All right, good. Thanks, Felix. Thanks for that clarification. So, uh, Rondell Khan was in the, the. Okay, so right now the highest bidding was 190, right? And I don't know who's 190. So, right now, just if you guys want to do 190. Um, or higher on this mark right here. Go ahead and bid for it so that way we can confirm that. But uh, Felix was saying that Rondell Khan was talking about 350 on <laughs> for the box mag. So uh, definitely not on. Um, in future, we'll definitely talk about numbers, right? So uh, we should um, consider doing that um, on the side. So, Cole, you want to do a discount on Scarface? So uh, give me give me a shout, Cole. Um, PM me directly, and I will uh, work it out for you. Uh, I always want to help um, players in the community, so you need help, let me know. I definitely can uh, build a custom one for you and work it out for you. So uh, right now at two, five twenty eight, we're gonna call the auction off at five uh, say five forty five. So let's kick uh, 5.45, let's uh, end it off. I'm gonna play uh, the video one more time, so anybody at the last minute there that didn't came in a little bit late and want to participate in the auction, uh, I'll play video one more time so that you can see um, the, 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 on the auction, see how it works and how it's function. And if you want to participate in that, you can actually jump in. All right, so I'm gonna switch this um, camera really quick 
and then I'll get you the a uh, custom um, Tacoma Bolt G36 featuring some new accessories so you get this new MP5 handguard right here with a mock silencer mock charging nut too you kind of have a little tap down moving forward doesn't do anything but it's just cool to have of course this new G36 carry handle it's kind of two of the basic carry handle we have we kind of put back to back give it a G36 look and of course the ultimate trigger system right here that's on the thunderbolt safety and then fire and the, the, the removal magazine well there so built ready to rock right here so of course i forgot to mention uh retractable buttstock we have five, five position you can go in the smallest give you that really tight close quarter or you can extend it out for a full rifle system okay let's try to do some shooting see how it goes back to back here we go I'm gonna try another mag. A clear magazine to see, so you can see the rounds that you have in there. So not great to have when you want to see how many rounds you have or what kind of projectile you have inside. Let's go. All right, guys, that's how this G36 shoots. You have a G36 shoot. All right, guys, that's uh, pretty much the uh, the G thirty six. So, if you guys have a question on this, this is your pretty much last chance. Um, we're gonna talk about it and show about it. So, this is um, this is the the marker you guys bidding for. Um, pretty much everything you guys just saw on the video. So, I'm not gonna talk much about it anymore. Um, just gonna see who's the winner, and that's pretty much it as far. We're gonna call it off in about fifteen minutes, five forty five. Uh, we'll end the show and whoever gonna be at end of time um, if you are the winner you just message us directly uh, contact me directly or um, go to the mcs facebook and just mess uh, message the uh, the facebook page there and we'll get this out for you um and if you have any question from now to then just give me a shout all right uh todd no problem buddy uh, anytime give me a call um and then i will able to um, help you with that marker. Hopefully you get it uh, running By the weekend, okay, um, I'll make sure to get out for you tomorrow and then uh, You can have it by the weekend for sure <laughs> All right guys, uh, man been a long day I was talking about earlier if you guys missed that shape projectile I get thousands of them in now um, I'm gonna be able to test them right after the show and post some videos up not videos, some photos up I'm trying not to do uh, much video on it so I'm going to let the ambassadors and let all the testers post the videos and let them tell you how well it shoots um, for those that don't have a chance to test them for those who do have a chance to test them um, you are you, I'm not trying to tell you uh, how great it is or how better it is than, than anything else out there but I'm going to tell you that it is um, it's a project that been we've been working for a long time and it's kind of right now is meeting our expectations so hopefully when you test them it meets your expectation as well um, we don't um, except we're we, we going we're, we're going after the mid-range kind of projectile shooting about 100 yards my target right now just shoot 100 yards um, with a, a spread of 100 inches I mean I'm sorry a spread of 12 inches that's it so uh, 50 yards, 12 inches spread. That's what we're going for, and that's the the result I'm getting right now. Hopefully, when you guys test them, you able to get better uh, or equal results. And if it meets your expectation, we're definitely able to kind of push it out and continue to produce them and um, get into the, the hand of the players out there. Uh, before him, it was 190. Okay, so right now it's 190. Um, I don't know who got the 190, but I'm pretty sure Patrick, uh, last minute somewhere was jumping. So you have about 10 minutes, guys, to um, yeah, take that off. Can it shoot first strike? This little guy right here, Troy, definitely shoot first strike. Um, has a first strike bolt. If you want to shoot first strike only, let me know. I'll sh get sent you first strike ready magazine. Um, I shot first strike earlier. In fact, I shot with some shape round with this gun earlier. It'll shoot pretty well. So. If uh, you want to shoot regular rounds, paintball, or first strike, we can do both of that for you. Let me know if you have any questions on that. We can definitely build around that. Uh, 
uh, a lot of guys been asking about the tornado. Um, tornadoes, like I said, around the corner. Um, probably about two weeks, I can start showing you guys the, the video we're talking about. Um, the R&D video, like, like I said, there are five of them. If you guys want to see them, just message me. I'll send them to you. But uh, as far as the, the release date, I don't have the exact release date yet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start releasing those R&D videos kind of leading up to the release date on the um, Tornado Kit. Um, it's one of those projects that we kind of really take the time to care to get it right. There's an added feature in there that most of you have probably never seen. But you're going to have a lot of questions on that when we show you. But the great thing about it is that it is absolutely new. It's different. Um, give you a dedicated AK platform, one that built from the ground up, so that way the more variety in um, the arsenal that you can get up there right now. There's a lot of ARs, M16, not really much of an AK option. The AK options are expensive. Um, the only like a dedicated AK that I've ever made was the T6 AK47, kind of dedicated um, top rail, a dedicated handguard and buttstock and so on but that was too expensive to build and a lot of people can't really um, can't really own one so well, it's also on the way out too and the next option you can get is the Vortex AK-47 basically a gun and you add on the conversion kit to it but it's also expensive run like 3 379 so when you have this tornado it's not it's built from the ground up with the the right um, mag release and charging handles in the front uh, among other features that we put in there. So when you have it, you're definitely able to just kind of see how well it's built and where to build. Um, like I said, it's it's not like, uh, it's not an afterthought thing. We went out there to start uh, with an AK in mind and finalize with AK-12. So you guys want to see how AK-12 looks, um, just Google AK-12. It's kind of a modern version of the AK-47 with um, with kind of like a, a rail system in there, modern, you modernize so that way you can attach more uh, attachment. Mean, you can attach like scope, rail mount, grips, and other stuff on, as opposed to the AK-47 with uh, with the kind of do round dome top rail um, cover that you cannot really attach anything on. If you do, you have to add this, this monstrous mount, the mount on the side to go up to the top. So it's kind of tough. But definitely, you are going to be uh, the the option that for you to take on um, that uh, that new setup. Kill six nine. Um, I'm gonna be at um, yeah. Felix mentioned kill. I'll be there uh, October. I think four, five, six, seven, um, somewhere around there. We're gonna able to bring you guys the latest uh, stuff. I think I'll bring out the um, AK-12 for you guys to check out. By that time, I think the, the release was already in the way. So you guys want to check out the AK-12, definitely uh, come out to Kill 69. Um, I'll show you the tornado um, and how it looks, how it functions, the features it has in there. Definitely something to look at if you go to AK, I mean to the Kill 69. It's probably one of the most anticipated projects that we, we have done in the, in the past couple years. Of course, that, that cannot dethrone the shape projectile. You guys want to check out the shape projectile too. I kill 69, stop at our booth. I'll show you guys how it looks like, how it functions, the features that it has, why did why it's different, and what it can do. If there's um, uh, if, if this if permit, we probably have to demo some rounds so that way you can see how see firsthand of what it looks like and how it functions and then and the the type of trajectory that it gets so that's something to look at too kill 69 is only about what five six weeks away if you guys going there definitely um, hit us up if you not have not been to kill 69 my first uh, kill 69 event as well um, last couple of years we didn't make it out there but last year Jonathan was out there but the booth didn't show up so have not on the show for so this year, uh, I'll be there. Uh, my, my flight already booked, my hotel's already booked. Um, and this year, T1 Armament gonna be there with me as well. And they're gonna help me run the booth and I'm gonna do the, uh, hopefully their space and allows to do the STL drill competition there as well. But I don't know if there's gonna be that opportunity. 
but we look forward to it um, and if you guys are out there uh, stop by look forward to meet you so uh, last call okay so the last call you guess about five minutes left on this right now I believe someone has 200 Choi I believe at two okay Choi um, he is a top right now at $200 on this you guys look into this um, really nifty little setup on this you have a retractable butt stock with air through it's only work on the bolt um, because of this trigger frame because trigger frame bring it down about half an inch give you the clearance that you need so that way you can grab on to the trigger without hitting your hand um, see how my, 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 my grip my grip is right here and then the the air fitting is just right in the corner here uh, it's uh, it, it has a 45 degree bend allow me to grip it without any um, hindrance as far as shooting goes so and then of course it has this uh, this rail system right here give it a G36 look and it's in the front of course it has a G36 uh, handguard here uh, kind of a mock charging handle here give you that little pull there doesn't look mean much but you know it's kind of fun to kind of knock that down pop forward a mock suppressor too so uh, right now Choi is at 200 you guys up for it it's up for grab right now all right Adam good to see you buddy um yes I hope yeah gonna be great times um seeing you out there and um we'll get to hang out for the weekend <laughs> Will uh, will um, Widowmaker will be there? Um, <laughs> okay, Widowmaker. <laughs> I'm thinking about the barrel, but uh, yeah, see you there, buddy. Um, so um, it's a, it's one of those events. Like I said, you guys never been to Kilo Six Nine. Um, definitely, you gotta make it out there. It's one of those events that you gotta put in your bucket list. Um, if you're local, if you within driving distance, four or five hours driving, head out there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Talk about events. So OEW9, um, this year it's on October 13th. I know you guys are far and away, but if you're able to make out to the West Coast, the event going to be on that date. It's on it's one day, Saturday. So you, you play for one day, you get a tour, the Bay Area, check, the, you know, check out the Golden Gate Bridge, San Francisco, San Cruz and uh, among other places locally. Um, this year, we're gonna be doing a five on five competition, basically a tournament within a game um, going on at the same time. So uh, during the event, there are um, multiple scenario, multiple uh, mission going on that you have to compete. And your team also, um, team of five, if you, if you have a team of five, you can compete as a team if you're not come, uh, a team of five and you're coming solo, we can assign you to a team and you can uh, be part of that team to compete. So during the event, uh, we have this tournament going on at different fields and you're gonna play against uh, a five-man team. And of course, the top winning team, it's gonna be not, not like a round robin, but like a tree. Um, your competing team will win and then if you lose, you move to another branch and so on. So the team with the highest score at the end uh, get to compete the last two p two, two teams and um, we are putting out five PTRs um, for the winning team basically every player in that team will win uh, PTR that's like uh, you know a little bit over five thousand dollars in price there it's a little bit different like I said we're we're a little bit different than other events most event what people do is they um, they do a lot of raffle a lot of giveaways we kind of try not to do that we're trying to make where you compete to win a prize and, and your participation that let you win the prize. Of course, uh, it's it's harder to win, but at the same time, um, you don't depend on luck, right? You depend on your peer uh, skills and um, teamwork to win that. So, you guys coming out to uh, N War 9, um, check it out. And of course, N War 10 is next year. Uh, we're still thinking about how we're going to do it and uh, what we're going to do about it. If you guys up to full man, another Mac Fed event in October, uh, Mike Lovato, um, of course, one of our own. Uh, he's no longer with us, but he's still active in the community. If you guys doing Mac Fed, um, he's doing an event on October 3rd, I believe, 3rd and 4th, that first weekend of November in Copperopolis at the Copper Mine. Um, 
he's doing that event with other people. I don't know the details, but if you uh, look around, I, I, I don't have the details, but if someone knows about it, you can post it up here so that way more players can know about it. But the idea is that it's going to be at the Copper Mine, um, MagFed only, and some other details will be played out. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and uh, hit up below on that. But um, beside that, have, you guys have any questions, comment, concern, go ahead and push it out so that way we can get it for you. Uh, don't forget rental your upstanding Canada and MacPad game September. The rental is it should be already out. Um, um, Adam, you're talking about the uh, the one for Flag Raiders. Um, I think it went out on the last shipment already. So hopefully they got that and able to put together. You have crazy things show come uh, so okay. Uh, I will have some uh, Brent. I probably gonna have the the rounds. Uh, a lot of rounds for you to check out, but not too much because it's too close to the release date of some other stuff. Um, I only want to show stuff that's almost ready or in a month or two. I don't like to kind of show stuff where um, I can't uh, have a, a date for it. And people ask me a question, and you know, I don't want to say I don't know. You know, you always want to uh, be ahead of um, the curve there to know what's going on rather than be saying not knowing what's going on. So look like uh, Troy, congratulations, you are the winner of this great marker. Hopefully you enjoy it. Um, this is one of the better set we'll put together, um, custom built. So uh, enjoy this, congratulations buddy. Uh, message us and we'll get this out for you. If not tomorrow, then the following day. Congratulations. All right guys, any question, comment, concern, go ahead and throw it out. I will be able to answer those questions for you. If not, then I'll catch you next week. All right, guys. Um, again, thank you so much for participating in the weekly show. Like I said, without you guys, there wouldn't be a show. Um, always enjoy to have you here. Um, the comment that you put, the question you have. Um, this is part of a great community. Um, like I said, if I don't, if, if I have not met you and I'm an event, don't be shy. Come up, say hi. Love to meet you. Um, hopefully, meet you guys at three. I'm sorry, Kilo Six Nine. Uh, and end war, uh, the 9 11 charity event, and some of the event in the future. Much appreciated for all the support you've given us. Thank you for watching, and uh, well, see you guys next week, alright?